Yeah, hi and welcome to Slime Fun Castle. Dun dun dun. Well, mostly it's just a little castle I built with multiple mechanisms, very interesting and funny mechanisms, and very useful mechanisms, um, all using a plugin called Slime Fun, made by a guy called Mr. Cookie Slime, which is a genius if you ask me, because this is just one of the best plugins I ever saw for Minecraft. That's so much stuff. It's like Sky Factory, but in plugin form. Plug -in form. So you can use it for a server. It's not a client mod, it's a plugin. So, yeah. Here we are in Slimefun Castle, and maybe I can show you a bit around. Um, I just started blubbering and started walking. And, well, now I'm here. Maybe we start with the, the most awesome mechanisms. Uh -huh. um, here we are in the um, basement where I built most of the mechanisms. Maybe we start here. This is a nuclear reactor. It produces energy. Um, for all those watching this who don't know about Slimefun, uh, it adds multiple stuff to the game. Multiple new stuff. As I said, it's it's pretty much like a, a mod pack, but in a plugin form. This is all added by Slimefun, and what I will talk especially about is about the new stuff added um, on Don't Let Me Lie on Slimefun. 1.9 and above. Uh, Minecraft 1.9 and above. Slimefun 4 is what it's called. Yeah, you will see what I will mostly work with in this little video. Machines. So here we are at the nuclear reactor, which is uh, producing energy, as I said, for the network. It's the main reactor here, so this thing is uh, producing all the energy for the whole machine system. Here are cooling cells produced for the reactor. Because, uh, again, for those who don't know Slime Fun, don't know the reactor, which is explained in another video, for, which I made, by the way. Um, Slime Fun uses machines and stuff, and you need uh, an energy source, and then the machines who need the energy. And this is the energy source. It needs uranium to run and cooling cells so it doesn't explode. Because when you, it's not surrounded by water, you have to fill it in that way, and if it's not supplied by cooling cells, it will explode. It will be quite a blast. But nevertheless, uh, the cooling cells are produced here. All you need to fill in is packed ice here all the time. If you, if you go out, mine some packed ice, come back and put it in here, and it's then automatically produced. Um, the cargo network makes it fully automatic, so all you have to do is put the packed ice in here. Here we have an auto disenchanter. Uh, maybe you know slime fun. If you know slime fun, you know plugin called Magic Loot. It will cause that there is uh, a lot of of ruins regenerated, generated uh, everywhere in the world, where you can find some awesome uh, stuff like uh, enchanted books with enchantments like sharpness ten and, and other things. And you, then you put just and sometimes even uh, tools and weapons enchanted with those awesome enchantments. And then you should just put them in here, like. Oof, Let's get a diamond sword. Uh, diamond sword. This is whatever this is called in English. German, sorry. Let's enchant this with protection 8. Now I put this in here. And it will process the, it. It will um, separate the enchantment from the item. This is why the books are needed too. Because later on, after 1 minute and 30 seconds, here there will be uh, the armor piece I put in, and here there will be an enchanted book with the enchantment which was on the armor piece. But I don't want to wait there. Um, this is the uranium production. As I said before, uh, nuclear reactor producing energy running on uranium. And the uranium is produced here. And yeah, I'm not really caring about it because it's fully automatic. Um, it's all coming out from cobblestone. Cobblestone is produced here. Those, well, skeleton hats uh, should not look like skeleton hats. Oh, my keyboard is screwing me. Come on, keyboard. Ah, there we go. So, what those should be look like is this. It's programmable, pro programmable Android. A minor android. This is what it should look like, and not like this. But it turned around one time to the right to be able to cut those cobblestone, which is pushed up here, or mine this cobblestone. 
so it doesn't look like it should anymore. Yeah, this mechanism, um, I'm really proud of it, to be honest, because it's, it's really awesome, pretty simple, but really awesome. It's just a normal cobblestone generator, means uh, flowing lava and flowing water, connecting with each other, and then transform into cobblestone, and then pushed up like this in here. Um, but due to the fact that in 1.10 lava produces only 3 cobblestone and then stops producing them, stops producing it, it means it just doesn't flow there. It's like the lava is out of energy or something. Um, you have to use it with a dispenser, like giving it out, squeezing it in, giving it out, so it has all the time energy to produce new cobblestone. Yeah. The script this bot is using, this android is using, is pretty simple. It's Cut stone, cut stone, cut stone, cut stone, turn to the right, pick up fuel, turn to the right, turn to the right, uh, push the stuff in here, turn to the right, cut, 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 and in that room. Yeah, this is how this thingy works. And there are two of them, so there's enough cobblestone. The cobblestone is directly uh, pushed into the uh, cargo system, and then lands here in this chest. Um, it's then pushed out of this chest into this electric ore grinder. The electric ore grinder transforms the cobblestone, one cobblestone, into one uh, gravel. Gravel is the word, into one gravel. The gravel then goes into this machine, which is called the electric gold pan. Electric gold pan washes out the gravel, which produces sifted ore um, and two other English thingies. I don't know, but there is, there is one. It's torn in German. And the other thing is flintstone, yeah. But the sifted ore is the interesting thing, because that's what we need for the uranium production. The sifted ore is then put into here, that's then put... Uh, uh, I think then, then it's turned into crushed ore or something, then into here, pulverized ore, then it needs to get in here and to be washed out to, to be transformed into something else, I don't know the name. Then it's coming in here to be transformed into tiny uranium, and then the tiny uranium is coming in here, and the automatic crafting table, and the automatic crafting table is making the tiny uranium into small uranium. <laughs> Jesus. So there we are. This is the uranium production. Then at the next place we have a slime fun dust production and a slime fun complete ingot production so that you don't have to mine all the time. I don't know what you get all these slime fun stuff you need to produce other items. Yeah, but well, this works. Uh, I really don't want to explain it, it's a, it's a large mechanism. If you download the map, uh, I, I uploaded on, it on PMC and Planet Minecraft, the link is in the description. If you uh, download the map and put on slime fun on your server, or and put on exotic gardens and a few other uh, add-ons you need, and then plays it this. You can explore yourself what those mechanisms do. They're pretty pretty much just automatic production of stuff you need for Minecraft. Uh, for Slime <laughs> Yes, for Minecraft too, but mostly for Slime Oh, what do we have here? Another funny gimmick I made. This is a hazmat suit. The hazmat suit is needed, so you have to wear it if you're working with uranium and other radioactive materials. If you don't wear it while you're working with it, while you have it in your inventory, you are getting um, radiation burn, which is pretty painful. Um, yeah, well, what else can I show here? For example, what I was using, the, the uh, this system, because it's part of the GPS positioning system, which is pretty awesome. You need the uh, usual energy production and everything. Yeah, those are my reactors here, no nuclear reactors, just those solar panels. And then you need those GPS markers, or whatever they are called, GPS panels, whatever. Then you have a control station here, where you can see all your GPS tra transmitters. Well, you can G see all your GPS transmitters and your set waypoint. Well, this works. Watch my tutorials. So, I have all my places connected with each other. I can, for example, just go to an outpost, which is 5k blocks away within a second. Not using any warps or something, just using the stuff I crafted myself. Yeah, well, nothing really interesting happening here. Just another location where I thought about building some of the mechanisms. 
well, that's mostly about it. Um, the rest of the castle is not half as spectacular as the stuff I showed you. Um, but well, just free theory to fly around and explore. And, uh, oh yeah, I talked about magic loot earlier. The bucket which uh, creates all those ruins which contain loot. This is one of them. This is another one. Okay, those are two. This is two. One of them, and so on. But well, I was about to end, so yeah, well, thanks for watching the video, if you liked it, don't know, leave sub, whatever, you know the stuff, and have fun exploring it yourself, in case you downloaded it.